Was Abraham Lincoln, the man who signed the Emancipation Proclamation and fought for the 13th Amendment, a racist? Or was he an abolitionist? Well, by the time he was assassinated, he was both. I'm Dara Star Tucker, and this is The Breakdown. Contrary to internet rumors, Lincoln himself was never a slave owner. But though he personally hated the institution of slavery and was very consistent in his belief that it was an immoral institution, Lincoln in no way believed that the black man should ever be considered equal to the white man. In his 1858 debate with Stephen Douglas, he famously said, I am not nor have ever been in favor of bringing about in any way the social and political equality of the white and black races. He went on to say that he opposed the right of black people to vote, serve on juries, hold office, or intermarry with white people. Perhaps his most damning quote in that speech is this, there is a physical difference between the white and black races, which I believe will forever forbid the two races living together on terms of social and political equality. There must be the position of superior and inferior, and I, as much as any other man, am in favor of having the superior position assigned to the white race. That, my friends, is the very definition of white supremacy. No takebacks, no erases. He frequently floated the idea of colonizing or deporting black people to Liberia or to the West Indies. He even included this idea in one of the preliminary drafts of the Emancipation Proclamation. He got a lot of heat for this from prominent black leaders like Frederick Douglass, and he finally dropped the idea, saying that it would be logistically impossible. As to the abolition issue, when Lincoln first entered office, he was a centrist and not a true abolitionist. He didn't believe that the Constitution allowed for the full abolition of slavery. After all, it contained a clause saying enslaved people should only be counted as three-fifths of a person, and it carried a provision for slave owners to retrieve their runaway slaves from other states. His stance against full abolition wasn't an unusual position for the day. Abolitionists were considered radicals at the time by many people, even in the North. But as the war began to consume Lincoln's presidency, something very interesting happened. His views on abolition began to shift. His cabinet was quite surprised in 1862 when he announced plans to issue the Emancipation Proclamation. Though it was certainly a strategic move to weaken the South and it didn't actually free many enslaved people, it did affirm his moral position that enslavement was fundamentally evil and should be ended resolutely, without restitution to slave owners and not gradually over time time as he had often proposed. In the months before he died, he did push to get the 13th Amendment passed to fully abolish slavery. He even began advocating for voting rights for certain groups of newly freed black people. In a speech he gave on April 9, 1865, just a week before he was assassinated, he said, it is unsatisfactory to some that the elective franchise is not given to the colored man. I would myself that it were conferred on the very intelligent and on those who serve our cause as soldiers. John Wilkes Booth was in the audience that day and clapped back to a friend. That means nigger citizenship. Now by God, I'll put him through. That is the last speech he will ever make. 